really quick makeup. Um, this one. I think I can start your pores. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't open. Well, I think it opens them up so that the pores can get unclogged if they have anything. And I put this thing on. I'm gonna be just a little something. I like makeup. I feel it looks better at least on my face when I put just a little, little makeup. Tiny thing. Mm -hmm. This guy, really good. Just a little thing. Ah! It looks like a, like a bird just put on my face. That was funny. Okay, a little bit more. I'm gonna apply it in the brush now. Learn from your lessons, people. I always tell my kids to learn always from what happens to you, but also if you see someone going through something, learn from their lesson. They sometimes, you know, tell you, oh, I did this, this happens, and then I did that. Okay, so now you know, now you know how to react to certain things or how not to react to certain things. That's like you have a mastermind group. If you use everyone's experiences to help you decide what's best or what's worse in each situation. Okay. Now, I'll do this thing. I don't think it does it much, but I'll put a little bit of this on my eyebrows. And this is not a makeup tutorial, but I thought since I was gonna go out and like, hey, let's just record it. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, what were you doing? How do you get all like done with your makeup if you haven't done it? And I said, oh, this is an eyeshadow. This is my ring. Have you guys noticed that when you go to the gym, you eat a little bit more than, than always? I don't know, I just, you know, had my avocado and my egg, and then I needed these cookies, which I'm still eating. Not that I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Stay tuned, we never know. Anything can happen. But, um, I do feel more hungry. The good thing is that once you start doing the intermittent fasting, you get so used to not eating at night that after like 5 or 6 p.m. you're not even hungry. People think that you're actually making an effort to not eat. This is clinic. And the reality is that you don't even feel hungry anymore after 5 or 6. Which makes it, makes it easier to lose weight, keep your current weight. You actually lose weight. And I don't know, it's just a really healthy way of being. I love it. I don't think I will be able to go back um, to eating at like 9 or 10. I used to eat really late, you know, growing up. People would eat at 9. We would be sitting down at home having dinner at 9 p.m. And usually we would play something on the TV that was for like family. Like a... Uh, how do you call that? Like a soap opera? We call it telenovela. And it was for like family, you know? And we will be eating at 9, 9 p.m. So we will be done by 9.30, 9.40. And I don't remember if I took a shower before or after eating. But sometimes it was like 10 p.m. and I was watching TV. And I was like nine, eight years old. But over here, you cannot do that because over there, we used to go to school in the afternoon. Like I will wake up at like 10 something and my grandma will have breakfast. Breakfast is lunch, is lunch, lunch ready. Most of the time I just had lunch, I think. And with my brother, we will always stay up night. I stay up late, late in the night. Here you can because kids have to go to school, be there by eight, between eight, 15, 
<clears throat> and that puts a lot of stress on the family, I think. Because you can barely see any of your parents. Your parents are awake at night and you have to go to sleep. I think that happens in every, every neighborhood. It happens in every home. Um, the parent who is taking care of kids usually just falls dead on the bed around the time that they put the kids to sleep. Also because we have to wake up so early. Until April, the kids have to go even extra early on Tuesdays and on Wednesdays. So instead of waking up at 6.45, I'm waking up at six. That is crazy. Let me tell you, I was never a morning person. You can tell from today's video, this morning, I'm not a morning person. Um, so waking up early, it just takes a lot for me, a lot. I try to do as much as I can the night before. Lunches are ready the night before. Well, lunch boxes just have snacks because uh, kids get the lunch from school. Um, it's like I try to get as much ready, water bottles, everything done, taken care of at night. And that's another thing that it became a habit of mine. And I heard, look at this. I just painted my nose. Don't laugh. That's not funny. I removed that. We put some of this. So, that was saying. Um, what was I saying? I have no idea what I was saying. Oh, that I have. I, I always try to do as much work as I can the night before, getting everything ready. In the morning, I don't have to be rushing like crazy. Because it's already enough for me to have to get myself out of bed. And then I have to go get my kids out of bed. And when I'm at a night, uh, an early a morning person, <coughs> that takes a lot of effort. I don't know what my shiny lip gloss is. I think I left it on the purse. No, yeah, inside the purse. Okay, so that's it. Mm, gonna get this down. We're ready for the day. Yeah. So let's go to work. <laughs>